Hello guys, uh, this is a new guide with only jump throw lineups for Viper because as you may know, there have been some changes in the patch 8.01 where it literally says here, a new feature has been implemented where jump throw lineups are more consistent if you hit the timing window properly. All jump throws should be the same while being more consistent. So what does that mean? It means that some jump throw smoke will be a lot better than before but it also means that all jump throw that we were doing before will have some changes because everything that I was uh, doing as a jump throw lineups are now changed because the lineup is the same every time you jump and instantly left click. So jump and throw instantly, it will make the same lineup every time. But before it was not the same, it was inconsistent. So now that it's consistent, we have to remake the, the, the lineup because you will need to slightly make all your lineups, at least for the smoke, a bit higher so that it lands where it should be landing because it's different now. So that a good example is on Lotus. I just made a, the guide last week for those who remember. So in Lotus, for those who remember and who watch the guide, you know that I have a smoke lineup that lands in B here. What you needed to do is to just be in front of that wall, watch this. This, oh, sorry about that. Watch this corner here and put the line that is popping up a bit like this. Then you do a jump and a left click instantly. And you will see that now the smoke, no matter what you do, will go here, which isn't great, right? Because it is literally the same jump, the same uh, throw as I showed on the video in the guide. But instead of being here, the smoke was landing here. So now every smoke lineup, or throw lineup will get fucked up. So that's why I'm doing this video to show a um, new update version for every jump throw smoke um, and lineups you need to know. But here I want to focus on smoke because in my opinion, that this is the, more, the most important thing here. So to make this lineup work, now you will need to look higher. So now to have the good lineup that lands here, you will need to look higher, as I said. So you put yourself in front of the wall and instead of aiming here, you will aim higher. So to have a good reference point, what I suggest you is to, to not look here anymore, but you see this thing. I don't know if you can see it right. I will take this time to show you. There's a little line here. You will see it better in game. So maybe go and custom and watch it before. And for this, you will put the, the hour that is curving and just put the curve on the, the line. Okay, like this. I'll show you like this. And then you just do a jump and instantly left click. You will do always jump and instantly left click for every lineup, okay? And it will always land on the spot you were aiming for. So you do this. And you will see that the smoke will land perfectly in this spot. It's even better than before. Like the smoke is even better than what I showed before. So now I will show you that it works. I will do it again. So here. Jump and left click, and you will see that it is way more consistent than before and will land perfectly on the same spot. So this shows that jump throw smoke is a lot better now, um, but you need some changes. Um, it's not the same lineup as before, but it's way better in my opinion. Okay, let's go on the next one. Another smoke you can do at the start of the round when you are solo control on the A side, you can go at the before the round starts, sorry, just here. So I will show you before the round starts, okay? So you position yourself here. And you will watch this line with the line that is going like this. Okay? Then when the round starts, you will do a jump and instantly left click again. And this smoke will go just here and will be really useful for you as attacker side, okay? So use the smoke, it's not the best smoke that goes inside, but it's a really good one to be honest. You just clear this corner, if nobody's watching you, you get inside the smoke, get into the corner, drop the smoke off, and have like um, a surprise to f for the enemy. Like you will surprise him, he will not expect you to be here, because the smoke looks like, uh, it's a bit different, but. For him, when you will get into that corner, he he's just see this. So he will not expect you to be in that corner. You know what I mean? So it's a really good jump smoke 
for A side if you didn't know how to cover that part. I don't suggest you to have all, only your smoke here, because what you can do when you get to this point, there's a really good wall that I already showed before, where you just here. cut this here, here and here. here, okay? So this wall, as I showed on, on the Lotus Guide, you uh, covered for A, B, and B link. So it allows you to get B control or just get a free rotation to A side and just drop it down and trying to push, you know? So it's a really good wall that you can use even with that plus that smoke. So these are the two smoke I wanted to talk about on this map. I don't think there's any other smoke you need to know. Uh, I will try to find one for C, but if I don't, uh, we will find ourselves on bind with an important smoke on B long. Well, as you can see, we are on bind. I didn't find any good smoke for C. It's too high. It's too complicated to get. So I wanted to get on bind because there was a smoke that I needed to have and it wasn't working before because it was inconsistent every time. And now that it's a lot better, the smoke works every time. So that's a good, good thing for us uh, as solo controller, especially. Because if you have a double, double controller, you don't really care about getting your smoke CT. Yeah. But solo controller, it's really important. Before, I had to go short to always do my smoke. So to do that smoke, I was looking at that corner. I was putting the line like this. And I was doing a simple left click. This left click allows you to get the smoke just here. And gives you a good one way from hookah for anyone who's going uh, through the smoke. So they don't see anything in hookah. And also, it's a really good smoke to just cover city, right? And I wanted to have a similar smoke, but from long. And before it was impossible because it was always mm, like working one time on three and it's not good, okay? So now for this to work, you will watch this line here and we'll put in between the point, okay? So not the left, not the right, just in between. And you will do a jump and left click instantly. And you will see that it will bounce twice and then get here. It always does that. I will show you one more time to show you how consistent it is and a lot better. So jump, left click. And again, it will bounce twice and get on this place. It's so much better now that it, it's going to be always the same smoke no matter what you do. So and not any more excuses or fails, it works every time. So it's a lot, lot better. And you still have kind of the, the one way city. It's a lot smaller, but it's again, a really good smoke that you can hold people going out because if they try to, they will not see shit. So it's a really good smoke that I needed to show um, on bind. I forgot to show one smoke. For those who knows me for a long time, know that I love to do a special um, execute on A short. And I was doing always the smoke plus a snake bite in this spot. But now you can see that the snake bite, uh, the smoke, sorry, is not working anymore as I wanted it to, to be. The smoke is too deep in lamp, doesn't cover this corner at all. So it's really bad smoke now. So to be, a uh, better smoke, you need to watch the top right of this window, put the down of the arrow like that, jump spray, and you will get the perfect smoke I want, like this. Of course, for those who want to know the execute, I can show you the lineup quickly. You need to watch this leaf, go all the way up into the middle of this one, do just a simple left click. You usually have your wall like that. So you have your smoke, the snake bite that goes in the smoke, so nobody can stand in the smoke. So you will get all the space for you. You take the smoke and you take lamp. This is the best execute for me with Vibe on A um, short. And if you want to know more, you can just watch the guide I did like six, seven months ago on Bind that is uh, still up to date. So now we are on split and there is two smokes I want to show you. The first one is from spawn to vent. Because as a solo smoke on uh, split with Viper, it's really complicated to have a really good smoke uh, here. Not the wall, a smoke. For me, it's a lot better. The smoke is situational, depends on what you want to do in the round. And the second smoke we need to, to understand also is here to City. And of course, City, I will show a smoke that covers City and Elbow because I don't like having Elbow open. Um, the enemy team have too many advantage from this, okay? So, 
all you need to do is to be at the start, before the round start, I mean, on this position, okay? In front of the orange car, you just get into this line. Then you watch the one, two, three, fourth uh, circle with your Corsair, and you do a jump and instantly left click. Every lineup in this video will be jump instantly left click, like this. And you will see that the smoke goes perfectly in vent and gives you this perfect smoke. No need anything else, okay? This smoke is really good. Now let's go for A side where you just need to look here. And now instead of looking at the top of the building, you will look down, so here. And you will do a jump and left click instantly. And you will get the smoke right here. Of course, I love a lot more this smoke because if you have an enemy that have an operator, he will not be able to stand here in elbow or in city. Because if you have the smoke only in city, he can simply just come here and get a free kill with his operator. That's why I don't like it. The only uh, annoying thing about that smoke is that they can simply just go get into the smoke and get on site. This is the only thing you need to get ca uh, to be careful at. Um, and this is the only thing you need to care about. But of course, if you want to know more how to counter the fact that they go from city to elbow, I suggest you to watch the split guide where I show how to make a snake bite that goes in the smoke so they cannot go in or out or at least they would get damage from it. So as you can see, we are on sunset and for me the best smoke to have with Viper on B push is this one. This one will help you getting cover from market here and also cover from the top of the side. So the only way they can shoot at you is this corner, which you will be able to hold while going to the side, of course. So to do this smoke, what you need to do is before the round starts, you will just get in front of this wall. You will watch this line over here with the line next to the snake bite, and you will do a jump and instantly left click. Maybe you need to try it in a custom before to be sure you hit it. And you just do, as always, jump left click instantly. And you will see that the smoke goes just under the roof and goes perfectly here and gives you this beautiful smoke. Well, now we are on Icebox. I just made a guide like three or four days ago and already we got some changes for the smoke. It doesn't affect, luckily, um, luckily for, for this smoke. Usually you needed to jump and the smoke was getting here as I showed in the video and the smoke looks like that, okay? And what we got now by doing the same jump from the same spot, you see that the smoke is not on this middle anymore, but more in the back. You see? It's, uh, it's annoying, but you can see that the smoke still covers and it doesn't really matter because they cannot see anything. And even from top, they don't see. So it doesn't change at all um, the fact that they change uh, the consistency of the smoke because it still works the same way. Well, I just realized that we have the same issue on B side. For those who watched the video knows that I showed a lineup from this spot to the top of B side here. While you had to watch this area, so you wanted to get here and you needed to watch this line. Now it will be different because when you do that smoke, I can show you. When you do that smoke, it will bounce on the top of the side and just stay here. Sometimes it stays, sometimes it bounces. Well, it's not the smoke that we are looking for, right? So what you will do is go on the same spot, but this time you will need to watch this corner with the symbol of the ultimate that goes like this. As you understand how you have to put the ultimate, it's really easy to do. Uh, you just do a simple uh, jump and left click. And of course, the smoke will go on the same spot right here. Okay? So it's literally the same uh, smoke, but you needed to change the spot you were looking at. For those who remember uh, how to have the smoke in rafters here, we were just running like this and throw it, okay? Now it's possible to do it in a different way with, gen with just a jump and throw. So you will get on the line spot that everybody know and you will watch this gray area here, okay? You will do a jump and instantly a left click and you will see that the smoke goes perfectly in rafters, gives, giving you the perfect smoke that allows you to not be seen from under because it's gonna be difficult for them to stay like this 
and of course from the top because they will have to get all the way on the left which they cannot see top okay well now we get to the most interesting part interesting part for me which is breeze breeze there was two jump throw smoke that i want to show you the first one is from the start of the run here to uh, nest and the second one is from this spot to this one okay let's start with a side which is the most uh, like the easiest for me you will get here you will watch the first like the leaf here not the first one but the second one the bottom of it and you just do a jump left click instantly and you will get the smoke just here which is really good along the wall so let's say you use your wall like that you have the smoke plus the wall you have all that space for free then you can just deactivate your smoke get that space deactivate your wall get the space it is as easy as that to get the smoke done now so you have no longer excuses to die from op from that side okay so you will stand just right here and you will watch the curve just here for this to work you will get into the middle i will change the call of the crosshair so you see better you put the crosshair just here into the curve then you just do a simple left uh, jump and a left click like that and the smoke will just get behind the pillar here and you will get a perfect smoke so they cannot see anything even if they get here so it's a perfect smoke for nests for me that's it for breeze and i think that's it for every map let me check to be sure otherwise we get into the outro, outro part of course so yeah on ascent they had nothing to 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 show again because there's no such things as jump throw smoke that i found interesting so i will not show anything on ascent this time uh the next guide guys will be to how to play double controller with another controller as viper so it's a lot different than the playstyle you have to get you have to do as a solo controller so i cannot wait to show you what you need to do on every map as a second controller with viper and i hope you will enjoy it i will need to get someone to help me make the video to show you both uh smokes you can do so guys if you want to be sure to not miss this video out be sure to subscribe to this channel and also like the video to support me it would mean a lot thank you guys and if you have any difficulties you can ask me on the discord which is in the description or during a live on twitch which i try to live almost every night from now so i cannot wait to see you guys have fun and i'll see you soon Bye bye